Okay, let's practice now converting from binary to decimal. And it's not very difficult. If you haven't caught on by now, you'll catch on real fast. Let's go ahead and try uh, about five of these problems here inside this grid. And then we'll just try a few freeform ones out here just to see what they might look like on a test or something. So uh, let's start with something very simple. Let's go zero here. And then let's just put a 1 in this last column. And now how would we calculate that? Well, we have 1 in the 1's place. Well, we've seen this before. Uh, that's simply a 1. And so the, the final value is, is 1. Not very difficult. Uh, what happens if we do this? I'm going to go 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Well, yeah, we've seen this before too. We have one in the twos place so we know that the value is two right and so to calculate this well we have two but we don't have any others all the others are zero so that's equal to two well it just looks like i'm counting again doesn't it so let's try something a little bit uh a little bit tougher not too much tougher let's try this let's put a one here and then a zero here and a 1 here, and a 1 here. All right, now we have, uh, wow, we have a couple. We have three different ones. Uh, this one gives us a value of 8. So we know that we have at least 8. And then this one gives us a value of 2. So we're going to add 2 to that. And this one here gives us a value of 1. So we're going to add 1 to that. 8 plus 2 is 10 plus one more is 11. So this gives us 11. Very nice. Let's try another one. Let's go 0, uh, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Ah, all right, let's try that. Well, what do we have here? We have a 64. A 64. So let's put our 64 in here. And we're going to add 32 to that. So plus 32. And then, let's see, go over here to the next one. Oh, four more. We're going to add four more to that. And then one more after that. So let's try this out. Let's see, 64 plus 32, that's 4 plus 2 is 6. And then 6 plus 3 is 9, 96. And four more is 96 plus 4 is 100. And then 100 plus one more is 101. So 101 is what I'm going to say that is. Very nice. Um, let's try this. One, um, zero. And you see I'm getting them bigger and bigger here as I go, right? Uh, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one. Now, yeah, how about that? Let's see what we end up with. We have 128. 128. And then we're going to add 32 more to that. 32 more. And then we're going to add 8 more to that because the next one's in the 8's column. We don't have any in the 4's column. We don't have any in the 2's column. But we do have any in the 1's column. So we'll add 1 more to that. 128 plus 32. Well, 8 plus uh, 2 is 10, so we have 0, carry the 1. 3, 4, 5, plus 1 we carry to 6. So that's a 60, and then 1, 160. And 160 plus 8 is 168, plus 1 is 169, 169. And I did this in my head. I did it fairly slowly for you, but you may have to write them down, and that's just fine if you need to write them down. Uh, in uh, in tests in this class as well as on uh, in certification tests it's okay to have a blank piece of paper to write things down in fact if you go into a certification test they'll give you a laminated uh, sheet and a dry erase that you can do calculations with uh, although you cannot use calculators and so you will not be able to use calculators in this class either uh, at least not while i'm watching so uh, we have 169 here, it looks like. And uh, so that's that's fine for these. But let's try a few sort of free form here. What if I gave you something like this? 011010. 
All right. Uh, now I only have, notice I only have one, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't give you eight uh, values. And since I didn't give you eight values, you have to sort of start counting from, from this end to figure out, so you're going to count this direction like this, to figure out what the values of these are. Well, the second column here we know is equal to two, right? In fact, let's let's put that, let's draw that, or write that out. We're going to have a two for this one. This zero here is equal to four, uh, or at least that's the fours column, but there's nothing there. Uh, this is the eights column, so we have an eight. And then this would be the sixteens column. One, two, four, eight. Yeah, this one here is the 16s column. So we're going to add a 16 to that. So now all we have to do is figure out what that is. Uh, eight, uh, 8 plus uh, 6 is 14. Carry the 1, 24. 20 plus 2 is 26. So that would equal 26. All right, let's try another one. Uh, and by the way, notice I put a 0 here in front of that. This 0 is totally unnecessary. I could have just as well put 11010, and that would be exactly the same problem. But uh, I didn't. Let's try this. 1110000. Let's see, what do I have here? I've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's put one more zero. Now we have a full byte. We have 8 bits. So since we have a full byte, uh, let's see, these last. Uh, these last four are all zeros. One, two, three, four. That's a zero. This uh, one here is a zero. That would be the, what? This would be the ones place. That would be the ones place there. Twos place. Fours place. Eights place. Sixteens place. This would be the 32 place. So we have a 32. And then we also have the next one up here, which is that one. So that is a 64's place and then we have the next one the next one after 64 is the 128's place 128 so this what in the world does this equal well we have to add these up so let's go 8 plus 4 uh, that's 12 right uh, now it, would it be easier for you if I if I did this like this. If I put 128 here and then um, 64, and I'm putting them this way to keep them, let's uh, put them more in alignment. Uh, 0, 64, I'm putting, the, I'm putting the 0 in there just to keep things in alignment here. Uh, plus uh, 0, 3, 2, right? So, and then if we put a line underneath that there, does that make it a little easier to, uh, to kind of calculate it. Let's do it this way. 8, 12, 14. So we have a 4. Um, we have a 4 in this place. We don't need the underline there anymore, do we? Uh, let's take away the underline. We have a 4 there. The 14. Carry the 1 up here. So 1 plus 2 is 3. This is 9. 3 more is 12. So that'd be a 2. Uh, a 2 in this next uh, location here. If I can back that up one. And then finally a 1, it looks like, in this location. So we have a 1. Whoops. A 1. This is hard to do on this. Uh, I should be doing this with a, with a tablet. Uh, 124. And, oh, that would be wrong. I, I didn't do that right, did I? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I didn't carry the 1. A 2, 24. Now, uh, I, I did this the long way uh, just to... Uh, to show you how it's done, at some point, we're going to get to the point where you're going to memorize contiguous ones like this. And it turns out it's not that hard to memorize. 128, 192, 224, 240, 248, two, and so on. Well, you will get to that point where you can memorize contiguous ones. So I could have told you that was 224 very, very quickly, but I didn't want to do that. But uh, if you... Uh, start to see these kinds of things with these contiguous ones at the front of, of one of these things, the front of a bike. Uh, start getting used to memorizing those because eventually you're going to need to do that. Anyway, let's do another one just for fun. Uh, let's do one, two, 
four, five, six, seven. No, let's not do that one. Let's uh, do this with a there. Let's put a one there. All right, let's uh, let's try this out. Now we have eight bits here, so we have all of these columns represented. Um, so let's take a look at that. Uh, let's see. This is the ones. This first one here is the ones place. It's twos place. Four, eight. 16, 32. That's the 32 place. So let's uh, start. With, I'm going doing this backwards here from the way I did the others. 32 place. This one is the one ones place, twos place, fours place, eights place. That's the eights place. So let's put the eight in there. And then let's go back here. This is the ones place. This is the twos place. So let's put the two in here. Well, what does that equal? Well, eight plus two is 10. Uh, so we carry the 1, so that's 40. And then we add 40 plus 2, that's 42. The answer to life, universe, and everything. If you are, happen to be a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy fan, uh, 10, 10, 10 is 42. Kind of cool. Uh, let's do one that only that is much smaller. Let's do something like this, 1101. All right. Uh, 1101, see, sometimes you only get these very small uh, these very small looking ones and you need to be able to do those as well well we're just looking at just the last half of this table so ones place twos place fours place and eights place so that's an eight there's something in the eights place there's something here in the fours place so we add four there's something here in the ones place so we add one there's nothing in the twos place that's a zero in the twos place so 8 plus 4 plus 1, that's 8, 12, 13, like that. So that's equal to 13. So this is not very, very difficult. Uh, this is simply uh, how you convert from binary to uh, decimal. And uh, you just have to be able to add these things up. And if you can add these things up, you're just fine. Eventually, uh, eventually you'll need to be able to carry this on out further for some very large kinds of problems but for now for the beginning it's just this, this simple uh, you just have to keep track of what these are I probably should have done those a little bit bigger but hopefully you'll be able to see them on the video uh, just fine and uh, uh, next time we'll take on reversing this and turning decimal numbers back into binary. So that will be next. Uh, decimal to binary is next. Nexter. Yeah, there we go. Decimal to binary is next. We'll see you then.